हेलो माई सोल फैमिली हाउ आर यू ऑल एंड आई होप यू आर डूइंग ग्रेट वंडरफुल अमेजिंग से वेर एवर यू आर इन दी वर्ल्ड आई वेलकम यू ऑल इन माई चैनल थैंक यू सो मच फॉर लाइकिंग शेयरिंग एंड सब्सक्राइबिंग टू द चैनल फॉर गिविंग मी लॉड्स ऑफ लव एंड आई एम वेरी ग्लैड दैट आई हेल्प यू आउट इन सम मैनर इफ यू हैव नॉट सब्सक्राइब येट टू द चैनल दैन please like share and subscribe to the channel and you can also let me know in the comment section if you want to tell me anything so let's start today's video and this is the continuation of the series which we are doing it and till now we have uh, done till part 15 okay so this is part number 16 and i am sorry in advance because i know my voice is still not good it's getting better day by day, by day but right now also i'm having cold and cough so because of that maybe my voice is little bit different <laughs> okay and heavy okay so sorry for that okay so let's start today's video so in this video we are going to talk about what is lyran elohim wars which was happened okay way back when we were seated on tara okay so in the previous parts we get to know how we were seated on planet tara on planet gaia and planet earth okay we get to know that and how the tara morphogenetic fields was uh, like there was a catalysm which happened there was a explosion which was happened on planet tara due to which tara's morphogenetic fields and lot of souls were fragmented okay and because of that there was a plan which was made and that that was the rescue mission which was made okay and then there was seeding which was happened first in gaia okay with, uh, which is the planet gaia and then uh, there was seeding which happened on planet earth so we also get to know this that how the first seeding was destroyed then the second seeding was also destroyed as you all know that there was electric wars there was thousand year wars okay and because of these wars they the first seeding and second seeding was completely destroyed and after that the third seeding started and we are the third seedings okay so now the third seeding has been started we get to know and in that third seeding we get to know that how the lemuria was destroyed and how the atlantis was destroyed also okay and uh, how the earth become quarantine how our subconscious and unconscious and conscious mind have become okay divided into three parts and how the conscious mind conscious mind has been divided into uh, you know the lower uh, lower self and higher self which we called as ego self and higher self we all get to know these things and many more things we get to uh, know and understand in the previous parts so in this part we are going to talk about that this is the war this is the lyran elohim wars which was happened way before back okay it because of which this whole you know experiment this whole thing you know occur why we were seated on planet tara okay so it was this this is the war which happened way before we were seated on planet tara okay so in this war um the planet uh, in this war the stargate 12 okay which is in dimension 12 was destroyed okay and because of this war because you know in each and every war whatever war has happened whether it is a thousand year war whether it is an electric wars whether it is syrian wars okay so whatever war has happened in every war has an consequence so in this war the consequence was that the stargate 12 was destroyed completely and after destroying the stargate 12 from the pieces of stargate 12 the phantom matrix has been created which we called as black hole system has been created and it was a system which was created okay and basically our whole plan, 15 dimension system okay whole plan, time matrix is been you know uh, constructed on a mathematical program okay and it has been programmed on a certain mathematical programs for example uh, like 1 to 20 okay if you are making a program and it has been coded like 1 to 20 but when this war happened and stargate 12 has been destroyed okay so the phantom matrix created 
created the black hole system was created by reversing this pattern okay so the mathematical program which was 1 to 20 it was reversed and like 20 to 1 now the mathematical program is 20 to 1 okay so because of that the phantom matrix was created and it was created in a such a way okay that uh, it sucks energy from this time matrix it feeds energy from this time matrix because they cannot sustain on their own because it is a reversal mathematical program so now we are going to discuss that why and what happened in Lyran Elohim Wars, okay? In this video, we are going to discuss that and why this war has happened and why this uh, event has become a very significant, you know, event. And be uh, because of this Lyran Elohim War, it all starts, okay? It all starts with Lyran Elohim War and this was the first war which was happened, okay, in dimension 12 which is target 12 which is recorded as the original sin okay in the bible and we are going to discuss that also that what is the meaning of original sin in the bible in the biblical terms we get to know that we are born sinner and that's the original sin but that's not the true case does real history the true meaning of the original original sin is that when the stargate 12 was destroyed consciousness can uh, entered into a time matrix okay can incarnate into a time matrix in any dimension but cannot ascend out okay from the dimensions because dimension 12 has been destroyed and that's the natural passageway between dimension life systems so because of that the or uh, you know it the story came from the original sin that we are born sinner but the real meaning of the story is that that because of destroyed stargate 12 we cannot ascend out of the time matrix okay so let's start and let's see what is the meaning of that but first of all we have to understand our time matrix okay how it works and what are the things which we are having on our time matrix right now you all understand that we are having uh, you know five density universe okay and in each density universe okay we are having three dimension in one density universe so uh, like we are in density universe one okay so which is dimension one two and three then comes to density universe two which is dimension four five and six so the dimension one two and three is earth planet earth and then dimension four five and six which is density universe two is planet tara okay so then dimension seven eight and nine this is uh, density universe three which is planet gaia okay then dimension 10 11 12 this is density universe four which is planet armentena okay then comes to dimension 13 14 and 15 which is density universe 5 and in each dimension in each density universe there is different density matters okay so in dimension uh, 1 2 3 which is density universe 1 we are having carbon matter okay and in density universe 2 okay which is dimension 4 5 and 6 we are having carbon etheric matter then comes to dim dimension universe 3 which is dimension 7 8 and 9 and which has etheric matter okay then we are having density universe 4 which is armentena and which is dimension 10 11 12 and which is hydroplasmic pre-matter okay which is hydroplasmic liquid light okay so then we are having dimension 13 14 and 15 which is density universe 5 and it has having antimatter okay so this is how the you know matter is also different in each dimensions so let's start with this thing that now you understand what are the dimensions and how many dimensions we are having in each density universe okay and right now we are in dimension three okay and now we have to understand one thing that each dimension is connected to your own chakras and that i have told you before also and also it it is connected to your dna strand okay and one more thing i'm going to add in this video that each dimension is also connected to the star gates 
ओके सो वी आर हैविंग ट्वेल्व यू नो वी आर हैविंग फिफ्टीन डायमेंशन बेसिकली बट द डायमेंशन लाइक द मैटर फॉर्म लाइक इनकारनेशन फ्रॉम द डायमेंशन ट्वेल्व हैज बीन स्टार्टेड फ्रॉम द डायमेंशन ट्वेल्व वी आर हैविंग अवतार सेल्फ ओके एंड इन डायमेंशन ट्वेल्व इलेवन एंड टेन ओके वी आर हैविंग अवतार सेल्फ देन डायमेंशन नाइन एट एंड सेवन वी आर हैविंग ओवर सोल्स देन डायमेंशन सिक्स फाइव एंड फोर वी आर हैविंग सोल्स एंड देन डायमेंशन थ्री टू एंड वन वी आर हैविंग आर इनकारनेट्स वी इनकारनेट हियर ओके सो डायमेंशन थर्टीन फोर्टीन एंड फिफ्टीन दिस इज अ लेवल ऑफ रिशीज ओके एंड देन दिस इज आउट ऑफ द टाइम मेट्रिक्स देर आर थ्री मोर लेवल्स वे आर द असेंडेड मास्टर्स ओके दे एग्जिस्ट एंड वी ऑल्सो कॉल दैम यानास ओके यानास विच इज वाई ए एन ए एस यानास और असेंडेड मास्टर्स एंड दे आर हैविंग द फर्स्ट वन इज एथरिक लेवल ओके इकाटिक लेवल सॉरी इटैक इकाटिक लेवल देन वी आर हैविंग पोलारिक लेवल देन वी आर वी आर हैविंग ट्रायडिक लेवल ओके सो इन ईच डायमेंशन देर इज अ स्टार गेट विच इज ऑल्सो कनेक्टेड टू अ डायमेंशन सो डायमेंशन वन कनेक्ट्स टू स्टार गेट वन देन डायमेंशन टू कनेक्ट्स टू स्टार गेट टू डायमेंशन थ्री कनेक्ट्स टू स्टार गेट थ्री ओके एंड डायमेंशन फोर कनेक्ट्स टू स्टार गेट फोर डायमेंशन फाइव कनेक्ट्स टू स्टार गेट फाइव ओके डायमेंशन सिक्स कनेक्ट्स टू स्टार गेट सिक्स देन डायमेंशन सेवन कनेक्ट्स टू स्टार गेट सेवन डायमेंशन एट कनेक्ट्स टू स्टार गेट एट then dimension 9 connects to stargate 9 okay dimension 10 connects to stargate 10 and dimension 11 connects to stargate 11 and dimension 12 connects to stargate 12 so we are having 12 uh, stands of dna okay and we are having 12 uh, stargates also so this is the stargates which we are connected to so now we have to understand one more thing that now you understand that how each target is connected to each dimension okay so <clears throat> okay so now we know that each dimension is connected to one star gate and star gate means a portals a doors which take you to the to the different dimension so if you want to go okay from dimension 3 to dimension 4 you have to take a star gate okay and by using the star gates you can enter into dimensions okay to dimension 4 and if you want to go into dimension 2 so you have to use the star gate again and you you will enter in dimension 2 <clears throat> so if you want to go in a ascending order or descending order okay in a in a dimensions in up dimensions or in low dimensions you have to use the star gates okay so by using the star gates we can enter into the higher dimensions and also into the lower dimension so now i am going to explain you that how each star gate is connected to different dimensions to each dimension so and what is that mean is like dimension 1 okay dimension 1 is connected to your uh, first root chakra okay the first chakra the first dna strand okay and this is dimension 1 and it is connected to the first star gate and it is connected to the inner earth okay so inner earth this uh, dimension 1 the star gate 1 the star gate 1 will take you to the inner earth okay then comes to star gate 2 which is dimension 2 which is your dna strand 2 which is your uh, second chakra okay which is the scalar uh, scalar plex uh, sorry scalar ch scalar chakra okay and which is the star gate 2 and which is inner earth okay so star gate 2 is inner earth so if you want to go into inner earth you have to use star gate 2 then comes to star gate 3 which is dimension 3 and which is your third strand of dna which is your third chakra which is your solar plexus chakra and this is the star gate 3 and star gate 3 takes you to the earth okay this is the, uh, the star gate 3 is earth the planet earth on which we are right now living okay and if you want to go to uh, star gate 4 so star gate 4 is dimension 4 okay that is your fourth chakra which is your heart chakra 
which is the four strand dna okay and the stargate four will take you to the nibru okay or to the sun the nibru is here okay so if you want to go to nibru and this target has been uh, you know taken over and control under the dark forces they are already having the control of stargate four okay then comes to stargate 5 stargate 5 is dimension 5 okay the in dimension 5 there is stargate 5 and that is your fifth chakra which is your throat chakra okay and this is your uh, fifth strand of dna and stargate 5 will connect to you to planet tara and to pelides okay so if you want to go to pelides or planet tara you have to use stargate 5 then comes to stargate 6 so stargate 6 is your um, sixth chakra which is your third eye chakra okay <clears throat> which is the sixth strand of dna which is stargate 6 so stargate 6 will connect you to the cyrus b and cyrus a so cyrus planet okay so cyrus star system so if you want to go to cyrus system you have to use stargate 6 then comes to stargate 7 okay which is the seventh chakra and which is uh, the crown chakra which is the seventh strand of your dna okay and here we are having stargate 7 which connects you to plan uh, to arcatus okay so if you want to go to arcatus you have to use stargate 7 then planet uh, then comes to stargate 8 stargate 8 is your eighth strand of dna which is your eighth chakra okay and it connects to the stargate eight and stargate eight connects you to the planet orion and mintakan okay and to planet Ga gaia okay so if you want to enter into planet gaia or if you want to go to orion or mintaka you have to use stargate eight okay so by using stargate 8 you can enter into planet gaia or mintaka and orion so now comes to stargate 9 okay which is your chakra number 9 and which is your ninth strand of dna which is the ninth dimension and stargate 9 connects you to uh, andromeda okay so if you want to go to andromeda you have to use stargate 9 then comes to uh, stargate 10 stargate 10 is your 10th chakra your 10th strand of dna the 10th dimension okay and stargate 10 connects you to the lyra vega okay so if you want to go to lyra vega you have to use stargate 10 then comes to stargate 11 which is your 11th strand of dna okay which is your 11th chakra okay which is 11th dimension and stargate 11 connects you to the lyra avion okay now comes to uh, stargate 12 okay which is dimension 12 which is your 12th strand of dna which is your 12th chakra okay and stargate 12 connects you to lyra armentena okay so if you want to go to lyra armentena you have to use stargate 12 so now you all know that how each stargate is a door is a basically a passage which we can use okay a portal through which we can enter into a different dimension okay and we can enter into different dimension by activating our dna strands by using our chakras okay by dna by dna strands so if you're uh, you are having a 12 strand dna activation your 12th chakra activation you can enter into any of the dimensions by using these stargates so now what has happened in Lyran elohim war the stargate 12 which connects you to the lyra armentena was destroyed okay in this Lyran elohim war okay so <clears throat> now let's see that what are the meaning of uh, you know now because I am explaining you before explaining what has happened in this war I am explaining you the dimensions the system the time matrix how the time matrix works and in each dimension what is there okay what matter is there what dimension is there what chakra is there I am explaining you before so that you can able to understand that what I am talking about okay so now we have to understand that we are having 15 dimensions okay we are having 15 dimensional time metrics okay so 
uh, fifteen dimension time matrix, there is basically three uh, levels of non-dimensionalized energy matrix within which time matrix resides. And there, where there are three levels of non-dimensionalized energy matrix exist, there are three primary yanas collective okay and each one of the three primary sound fields of the kundar ray okay so here we are having life force energy okay in each of the density universe we are having a uh, life force energy okay so the in the first uh, non uh, you know dimensionalized energy matrix system which is out of our 15 dimensional matrix okay there is kundal ray life force energy okay and these are the three primer sound fields three primal sound fields means that here there is vibration there is magnetic this is the divine feminine energy the era the magnetic okay inward proton that is positively charged and they present inside and then uh, there is like in this primal uh, this in this primal sound fields there are three primal sound fields in which the ascended masters or yanas okay they are living here okay and the three primal yanas collectives are called as grandayanas okay vachayanas and ramayanas okay so these three are the names of ascended masters okay so grandayanas which we called as gronda yonas or emerald order yanas exist within the ekatic level of the energy matrix and this is the first level of individuation within the source then comes to vachayanas vachayanas pronounced as vashayanas or the go or the gold order yanas exist within polaric level of the energy matrix which is the second level of individuation within the source then comes ramayanas which is pronounced as ramayanas or amethyst order yanas exist within the triadic level of energy matrix the third level of individualization individuation within the source so these three are the ascended masters or yanas and these three primary yanas collective together they are the three primary sound fields okay and this is the kundalini energy matrix okay so three yanas collective from each of three primal sound fields are collectively called as iyani okay iyani iyani or iyani council which is means of the yanas okay so they collectively called as iyanis so these they are the collective uh, you know responsible for seeding life in our time matrix and is called as melchizedek cloister iyani or mc iyani mc means melchizedek cloister iyani okay so they incarnate into various forms into fields of space time matter within the density levels of our time matrix to fulfill universal service mission and when in physical incarnation in time incarnate yanas most often use the name iyani in reference to their family line the iyani incarnate on earth are known as type 1 gray line indigo children or the maji gray line okay so iyani of the kundal ray primal sound field seeded through creation of the three primary founder rays collectives in the time matrix okay which are called as briono orders so now we are coming to density universe 5 which is dimension 13 14 and 15 so here we are having primary founder races okay the primary founder races they are basically the three okay primary light fields okay and light fields means the divine masculine energy the mana the outward the oxidation the electrons negatively charged and they present outsides okay and they are called as rishis okay so they collectively called as rishis so now you know the three primary founder rays collective collectives are referred to as bruno orders they exist as eternal guest tenants of consciousness in the form of spherical antimatter constructs of thermoplasmic radiation within the three primary light fields that form density universe 5 which is dimension 13 14 and 15 of our 15 dimensional uh, time matrix so the three primary light fields within which dimensionalized time matrix exist are collectively referred to as 
ki rasha primal light fields so ki rasha is the life force energy okay in density universe 5 and they these are the and here we are having three primal light fields okay and they are called as rishis okay so the ki rasha is composed of emerald blue pale gold and violet primal light fields which are often referred to as blue ecartic okay which is ecartic level and the gold polaric which is polaric level and violet triadic flames so these are the standing fields of spherical light within which dimensionalized reality fields exist and each of the three founder race bruno orders represents a collective of consciousness seeded into time by one of the three yanas collectives from the time matrix okay so the emerald order now you know that uh, there are uh, three primal sound fields okay and which are called as and three primal sound fields and which is three primal yanas okay and here we are having kundar ray in life force energy in which the three primary yanas exist and the three primary yanas are grand yanas vachya yanas and ramayanas and they collectively called as iyani or the iyani council okay or the iyani melchizedek Uh, the melchizedek cloister iani okay and when the iani of the kundare primal sound field seeded through creation of the three founder primary founder race collectives they form three bruno or uh, like bruno orders basically okay and here we are having ki rasha okay life force energy and here we are having three primal light fields and the first one is emerald order bruno okay and the second one is gold order bruno and the third one one is violet order bruno which means the uh, emerald order bruno this is the blue flame which is the they are the representatives of the emerald order grandianas bruno collectives okay then comes to gold order bruno which is gold flame they are the representatives of the gold order vachianas bruno collectives then comes to violet order bruno okay which is violet flame so they are the representatives of the emnist order ramayanas bruno collectives so three bruno order founder races are the eternal collective of consciousness from through and within which the life field seeded by the yanas so these three bruno collectives are called as rishis or the solar rishis or the meta terrestrials okay they represent our universal family of consciousness and they created they manifest three founder races in the hydroplasmic prematter crystals liquid light field of dimension 12 okay so dimension 12 now what has happened next is that now comes to dimension 12 okay and here now we are having rishis okay we are having ascended masters we know that what are the ascended masters yanas okay now we are having rishis and rishis are uh, you know that there are three okay which they collectively called as bruno orders okay emerald order bruno gold order bruno violet order bruno the emerald order bruno is blue flame the gold order bruno is gold flame the violet order bruno is violet flame and together they the life force energy in this field is ki rasha now comes to dimension 12 so the emerald order bruno okay they created elohai elohim feline homonite crystals founder races and now it has been they are now destroyed on planet lyra armentena which in stargate 12 of the universal templar complex so they are called anuhazi or lyran seren whites which was appointed as guardians of dimension 12 armentena lyran armentena stargate 12 which is the natural passageway between the dimensionalized di density systems and the ki rasha primary light fields in our time matrix okay so they created first okay now the second one is the gold order bruno in which serify seraphim avian insect reptile crystals founder races on density universe 4 okay uh, which is uh, in in dimension 10 okay planet lyra vega which is 
stargate tent of the universal templar so they gold order avian serifi serifium founder races are called series which is s uh, sorry c e r e z okay c e r e z or bird people or carrions so they were appointed as guardians of dimension 10 which is stargate 10 which is lyra vega stargate okay then comes next is amethyst order bruno which is the baharama cetacean aquatic ape pegagus crystos founder races okay on dimension 11 okay which is planet lyra avion which is target 11 of the universal templar which is now destroyed okay so the baharama avion horse deer and cetacean founder races are called the pegasi or pegagus and the inu which is i n y u sometimes called as whale people but not the dolphin people remember that that we are having the angelic races and we are also having the fallen angelic races okay so the dolphin people they are the fallen angelic peoples okay but the whale people they are the angelic peoples and the dolphin people they are the fallen angelics okay so they were appointed as guardians of dimension 11 which is stargate 11 okay which is lyra avion so now what has happened now now it has been created dimension 10 11 12 they have created this then they created amenist order baharama pegasi and in you christos founder races shared guard, uh, guardianship of avion stargate 11 with the emerald order so amenist order hybrid feline aquatic a founder race was called as anu okay a n y u n u and they were the primary biological manifest on dimension 10 11 12 called christos founder races the cradle of lyra the original founder race creation contract was also called as emerald covenant of armentena okay so by putting genetic codes or templates into one okay uh, and Whose genetic template they put into one? So they put Elohai, Elohim, Serifai, Serifim, and Baharama, Guardian, Original Races. They put all of these three, uh, you know, original uh, Guardian, Original Race genetic codes templates into one, and created a new race which is called called as Azurites. okay so now what has happened next now now you all understand that now how they created dimension 10 11 and 12 okay in which they are having the okay the gold flame the blue flame the gold flame and violet flame and here on dimension 12 10, 11, 10 11 12 the life force energy is maharata okay in dimension 13 14 15 we are having ki rasha life force energy and out of the time matrix we are having kundal ray life force energy okay so here in dimension 10 11 12 we are having avatar selves okay here we are having avatar selves and the life force energy is maharata okay so now the what has happened next is that the gold order serifi serifim reptilian omnicorn race from dimension 10 lyra vega planet began to digress and set for dominant conquest into the small stellar systems of our time matrix they become fallen serifiums okay the four fathers of the dimension 10 orion draconian fallen angelic legion simultaneously okay so the emerald order amenist order hybrid felon aquatic ape a new race from planet lyra avion also suffered digression and they petitioned the elohai elohim feline hominid christos founder race of dimension 12 planet lyra armentena to destroy the fallen serifium omnicorn race and when the yanas which are grandianas vachianas and ramianas bruno order founder races that is gold blue and violet okay um gold blue and violet bruno orders okay and the elohai elohim of armentena refused opting for rehabilitation of the fallen serifiums the anu race okay which is a n y u of dimension 11 planet lyra avion attacked and destroy armentena to gain control of the stargate 12 
द अनु डिस्ट्रक्शन ऑफ आर्मेंटेनास टारगेट ट्वेल्व इज द इवेंट दैट बिकम नोन एज ऑरिजिनल सिन एज ऑल लाइफ फॉर्म्स इंक्लूडिंग द डेंसिटी यूनिवर्स फोर विच इज डायमेंशन टेन इलेवन ट्वेल्व क्रिस्टोस फाउंडर रेस विच इज गोल्ड ब्लू एंड वॉलेट फ्लेम बिकेम ट्रैप्ड इन द टाइम मेट्रिक्स अंटिल द डायमेंशन ट्वेल्व विच इज टारगेट ट्वेल्व ओके आर्मेंटेना कुड बी रिकन्स्ट्रक्टेड so what has happened is consciousness could incarnate into our time matrix but could not ascend to leave while armentena target 12 remained damaged the anu began their quest of universal domain dominion with the with the intention of destroying all races but their own and claiming dominion of our time matrix in their rebellion against the christos founder races the anu race of the anu race of the density f- uh, universe 4 which is dimension 11 adopted the name of anu and became known as anu elohim fallen angelic legions who are the forefathers okay of the anunnaki avenger race okay so the anu elohim fallen angelic legion created the syrian anunnaki race to destroy the christos founder race guardian angelic orophium human lineage upon its seeding so now let's understand one thing here now you all understand that they have created you know uh they have created consciousness in dimension 10 11 12 and in dimension 10 the gold order seraphim seraphim reptilian omnicorn race from dimension 10 okay uh, they they digressed their dna okay and this is dimension 10 this is Pl- lyra vega planet and they become known as fallen seraphims the forefathers of uh, the forefathers of uh, orient draconian fallen angelic regions the seraphim draconian okay so they fallen okay they become digressed and here in dimension 11 also the emerald order emnest order hybrid feline aquatic ape a new race from dimension 11 which is lyra avian planet which is target 11 they also digressed and become anu elohim fallen fallen angelic race they both digressed but anu race petition to destroy the fallen seraphim omnicorn race and when the guardian races refused they uh, they opt for restore of the fallen seraphims by attacking and destroying the target 12 which is lyra armentena and the anu race of density universe 4 which is dimension 11 they adopted the name of anu elohim fallen angelic Uh, okay races which are the forefathers of anunnaki and syrian anunnaki race was created with the intention to destroy the christos founder races okay to destroy the angelic orphium human lineage upon its seeding so following the destruction of stargate 12 during lyran elohim wars the yanas appointed the emerald order bruno and the elohai elohim feline christos founder races which is anuhazio siren whites as the universal security team in our time matrix with i a f w which is interdimensional association of free world okay so yanas which are grandianas vachianas and ramianas they appointed after the lyran elohim war they appointed okay the uh, universal security team okay with interdimensional association of free worlds okay so under the direction of yanas and emerald order bruno gold order seraphim seraphim bruno and emnest order order baharama bruno assemble the christos founder races in a restatement okay so what has they have done that they have now combined their three genetic templates into one and create a new race okay i created a new race line which is called as azurites okay so they have combined the three genetic templates of the elohai elohim feline humanoid anuhazi okay the second one is the seraphim seraphim avian humanoid series and mantis athian plus the baharama citizen inu and pegasi so they created combined okay 
these three genetic templates into one and they here the new uh, genetic race line has been created which is known as azurite iani so the azurites are the blue skin sometimes winged and feathered feline land and water mammal okay avian hominid race carrying the most advanced genetic code in our time matrix so the azurites was the new genetic line created okay after the lyran elohim war and the azurites were created by the founder races specifically to allow for the melchizedek cloister iani collectives from the every from the energy matrix and bruno orders to incarnate directly into a density system for crisis intervention the azurite Uh, melchizedek cloister iani race was created to serve as the universal templar security uh, team the mobile extension of the iafw primary guardian administration and called as mc iani master council so the azurites is master uh, melchizedek cloister iani master councils so the mc iani master council is composed of the density Five, which is dimension thirteen, uh, fourteen, and fifteen, Emerald Order Elo Elohai Elohim Bruno, whose members incarnate through the Cyrus B Azurite lineage. Following the creation of the Orpheum Angelic Human lineage, members of the M C Iani Master Council also incarnate into density through the Orpheum Angelic Human Indigo Children Human Grey Line. Okay. so the mc yani master council is also referred to as sirian council or the azurite council okay so the mc yani master master council was created with the formation of iafw which is interdimensional association of free world to serve as the central administrative council to reclaim and protect the star gates of the universal templar complex and our time matrix from destruction via fallen angelic race dominion okay so now the christos founder races are assemble the massive iafw organization under the principles of emerald covenant creating a unified collective of intergalactic guardian angelic races from within our dimension 15 time matrix so what has happened is like now you all understand that they both follow uh, they both fallen from uh, like in terms of their genetic okay they they inbred in a way okay that they fall in their genetic mutation there was a genetic mutation which was happened they digressed okay on dimension 10 and dimension 11 okay the seraphims the fallen seraphims and the anur elohim fo fallen angelic races they both follow oh, fallen okay they both digressed but but the anu race they petition to destroy the fallen serify or omnicorn race and when the guardian races they refuse to do that then the anu elohim fallen angelic races they attack and destroy the stargate 12 okay in order to take the control and dominant of our time matrix so when this whole incident happened one more thing was happened in this incident was that from the stargate 12 there was a phantom matrix a black hole system which was created and it was created in a reverse okay in a reverse mathematical program and because of which the phantom matrix the black hole systems okay they cannot survive on its own okay because it has been created on a reverse mathematical program so it was uh, you know feeding on okay energy from our time matrix so there was a big decision which has to be taken by our guardian races okay by our founder races okay by the yanas okay by the bruno orders after this incident that what has to be done now okay now the stargate 12 has been destroyed the phantom matrix has been created and many uh, races has been you know sucked into a black hole systems so now what has to be done Uh, whether to open this phantom matrix whether to keep open this phantom matrix and allow them to heal their dna template and evolve back out of the black hole system 
or should we close this phantom matrix or should we close this black hole system right away okay and these souls who are you know trapped in the black hole systems they will become the space dust okay so space dust is not bad but space dust means that a pure consciousness but they uh, will not have any memory of their previous uh, you know identity they will evolve back okay but they will not have any identity of previous um, previous thing so what they have the guardian races decided to keep the phantom matrix open okay in order to help those souls in order to help those races who were trapped in the black hole system and their intention was not bad at all because there were many races like one of the races who was trapped in the black hole system who is still belong to emerald covenant okay they are the light ones they are the angelic races are the deda deda uh, deda crone okay deda crone <laughs> okay so they are the dedacron races and so they are the dedacron reptilians okay so they were not intended to go into a black hole system but what have was happened that they are also from the seraphi seraphim families and they are not draconians okay the draconians are the omnicorn draconians okay so they are the different from reptilians but they are partial reptilian gene code from this point so they started from dragon moth so they are reptilian dragon moth thing so they were the original fall and seraphi seraphim okay race but in the mess on lyra happening the dedacron reptilian races lived on the same you know vega lyra planetary system so that fallen draconian ones lived on okay so when the fallen draconians try to fight back against the elohim okay the elohai elohim from stargate 11 planet uh called lyra avion okay they end up getting sucked up in the black hole system with the omnicorn anu anu, anu uh, elohim okay so the dedacron reptilian they are still emerald covenant and they did not do intentions they did not do anything intentionally but they get stuck in a black hole systems so the decision was taken by the you know by the yanas by the bureau uh, orders by the founder races okay and the decision was from the uh, intention of love okay the decision was keep uh, decision was done to keep the matrix open okay and the decision was made out of love and but when this whole incident happened okay the fallen angelic races they blame okay the high councils that you don't destroy the decolians which you which you have to so we did it and we destroyed the stargate 12 and this is how they and now we are now we have blow up stargate 12 and the black hole system has been created so they they start you know blaming the high councils here but what has happened because of this open time met because of this open phantom matrix because they keep this phantom matrix open so now we are having a problem with the phantom matrix because of which we are kept open because we have to understand one thing that the beings in the phantom matrix they don't feel the same way as the beings feel in this dimension in okay in this time matrix because of the dna templates because they are having just 11 strand dna or 11.5 strand dna the 12 strand dna imprint is missing in them so now what has happened is okay actually uh, so there was a fighting which was happening between the anunnaki and the draconians okay so this fighting is coming from like billions of years ago and now also also on planet earth these two groups are fighting in between okay They, these groups are fighting with each other okay over the control of star gates and over the control of humans over the control of you know uh, time matrix dominion okay they want to take over the anunnakis want to take over here the draconians want to take over and in between there is a third primary group or race which is here and which are the guardian races which are the orpheums which are the indigos which are the star seeds they are here to heal the planetary you know templars to heal the dna templars to heal this whole mess which they were created during the lyran elohim wars so after lyran elohim wars okay it was decided 
that we are going to help these races who have been stuck in the phantom matrix by healing their dna templates okay so by healing the dna templates by helping them out they will evolve back out from the black hole system and they will enter the emerald emerald covenant once again so the human race was created as a doctor race okay a cosmic doctors who will heal their templates templates so because of that they seeded the first you know the orpheums on planet uh, gaia okay on planet then they seeded on planet tara then it was also destroyed so they again seeded on planet earth so all here on from planet earth tara gaia these all souls were created to heal basically okay first of all they were created to heal the dna template and the second thing is to protect the stargates okay so that's why this was um, they were created here but something happened in atlantis during that atlant which is known as atlantis conspiracy conspiracy and when the atlantis conspiracy was happened at that point of time the things was not uh, you know accelerated at that point of time and they have waited a long time period when the natural stargate opening time cycle will happen and which is right now which is the all the stargates are open right now which we called as stellar activation cycle or ascension cycle or the stargate opening cycle because you all know that we have already discussed in previous parts that whatever uh, you know whatever things the guardian races has been created whether there is a blue flame whether it is halls of amenity whether there is sphere of amenity it has been created and designed in such a way that it will come it will become automatic you know it will um i can say work okay according to the mechanics of original stargate opening cycles patterns and if the cycle uh, if the you know stargates are not opening so then these things will not work so they waited here okay so they waited a long they waited and they have to stop there at at uh, at the time of atlantis okay so right now i can say that we are here now because we were in atlantis and something happened in atlantis that does not allow us to get out from here so the history is coming back whether we want it or not the past is coming back the atlantis is rising and there is lot of series or script okay which they created during that point point of time from that point of time they have created a plan for this time period and they have carried it step by step by activating it okay and add that some hybrid races to help the to involve okay fallen races to evolve back to the original divine blueprints okay so the leviathan races they got five strand of dna imprint and they are the illuminati races so during the atlantean time frame these leviathan races you know they track indigo human races or the star seeds or the twin flames they they track us and they persecuted us and they literally take and rape the females okay and take the dna strands from them okay so so that they can get the dna strand imprint because the stargates does not work okay does not work uh, bef- uh, you know without the dna strand so for working a dna uh, for working a stargate for entering a stargate portal you must have dna strands imprint so if you are having dna strand 12 then you can enter any of the stargate from stargate 1 to 12 but if you are not having dna templates you cannot enter these stargates so for getting that you know a key for these stargates they literally did a uh, mess or uh, you know a uh, horrible things at that point of time i can say that so but uh, 5.5 million years ago so there was a frequency barrier which was put between the phantom matrix 
and uh, between the phantom matrix and earth because there was wall in time which was frequency barrier which was placed between the phantom matrix and here on earth because they were continuously invading here over us they were coming uh, from the phantom matrix they were able to poke holes into it and they come back and forth and in atlantis they were able to come in enough the anunnakis that they use seduction to convince their illuminati leviathan races that you know these are the hybrid races who come into under the you know luciferian covenant okay and they come here and the anunnakis they seduce leviathan races the illuminati races they convince them that, that humans will never accept these races okay that they will be never be accepted by the human races and the humans did not really care about them okay and it made them hard to trust and they become very scared because uh, you know they are not having 12 strands of dna so they can't feel what uh, what is exactly happened now you all can understand like if we did not care for them the phantom matrix was closed at that point of time but they the guardian races okay the prime the yanas the ascended masters or i can say in the simple words the ascended masters the rishis they did not uh, you know close the phantom matrix instead they help and they created more races okay they created orpheums they created uh, you know the new races which will help these races to evolve back basically okay the azurites they created new races to help them so that they can evolve back so that they can heal the template okay they created the doctor races but they cannot understand this love because they cannot feel it because of missing 12 strand dna imprint so at that point of time anunnaki they said that they are going to fix it for them and so they become dependent on anunnakis okay so all the you know roman and greek gods they are coming right from the atlantis right from the phantom matrix okay and at that point of time they have orchestrated floods you know you know they have done the clearing literally they forced indigo females okay or the star seed females or the you know magic gray line females those females who are having the highest dna strands into a force breeding and get the dna done okay so they did that okay these were the leviathan races okay the forefathers of illuminati so they did that because they were scared okay and the anunnakis they seduce them and they make them able to understand that they were not going to accept it by the humans and we don't care about them and all and etc and etc and anunnakis are the one who are going to take care of them and they are going to fix them and this is how the thing started back in atlantis and now it's coming back here again it and it is already happening here because uh, they want dominion they want like the control they want pole shift they want pole reversals so that you know the this whole earth and human population are going to get sucked into phantom matrix by creating the pole shifts and also now we have now you all know that why the lion elohim war was happen okay and in which the target 12 was destroyed okay so the target 12 was destroyed in that uh, time frame and of after destroying the target 12 which we called as lion elohim war the phantom matrix was created and there was IAFW which is interdimensional association of free world and the uh, azurite which is the uh, you know genetic combination of three bruno races and also a guardian alliance which is GA which means that they were also appointed for each target as a security system these three were created as a security team which was universal service organizations okay uh, because they understand one thing and they created the orpheums okay the the i can say the turinism races okay to heal the dna template okay 
so that point of time when during the period of that time when the series of war broke which we called as lyran elohim war later the angelic wars broke the gold order seraphi seraphim reptilian omnicordian race okay from dimension 10 lyra wake up they begin to digress and they set forth dominant conquest in the stellar systems of their time matrix and now they become known as fallen seraphims okay and also the forefathers of contemporary dimension 10 orient draconian fallen angelics and here they the other race which also fallen uh, from uh, <laughs> they also become fallen and which is the anu elohim fallen angelic regions and after this war they also became you know made a new race of syrian anunnakis from cyrus star a okay and they created anunnakis basically anunnaki races they incarnate anunnakis they made anunnakis in order to destroy the guardians angelic orpheums azurite eani genetic lines and continue agenda of exploitation and dominant of our time matrix okay so now you know understand this thing that <clears throat> the if iafw they created a crisis intervention task force assembly through which organizing millions of various emerald covenant nation through out the five density levels of time matrix and they are known as guardian alliance okay so i'm going to discuss these things in other part because it is already more than 30 minutes in this year so i'm going to stop here now till now we already know this let's recap that there was a war which was happened in dimension 12 which is target 12 which is called as lyra elohim wars okay lyra and elohim wars in which target 12 was destroyed okay and it was done by the anu okay the anu elohim fallen angelic regions they destroyed and attacked target 12 because they wanted the guardians to destroy the fallen seraphims okay they want that the fallen seraphims the seraphim draculians they wanted to clean up them basically okay they want to destroy the fallen seraphim omnicorn race and when the guardian races the ascended masters okay the yanas the ascended masters and rishis okay they refused it to do it okay so the anu elohim okay they attack on target 12 and when this whole war has happened it created lot of things okay so first of all it created a phantom matrix which is a black hole system in which it is built on reverse mathematical uh, you know program system and it cannot run on its own it requires and it feeds and it sustains energy from our time matrix so there was a decision which has to be made by the guardian uh, okay by our yanas by our ascended masters by our primary founder races that whether to keep this phantom matrix open or whether we have to close this phantom matrix right now but there were some races which was stuck in that <clears throat> black hole system phantom matrix and the decision was made to keep the phantom matrix open and there will be more races which will be created in order to help them so that we can heal their dna templates okay so that they can evolve back to the original divine blueprint which is the 12 strand divine blueprint okay and after this whole incident there were there were security team which was made for the stargates and the one was iafw which is interdimensional association of free worlds okay and with that there was one more new genetic line race line which was created which is known as azurites and azurites iani azurite ianis are the blue skin sometimes winged and feather flying land water mammal avian humanoid race okay and they uh, the azurites okay they azurite iani okay they uh, was made they was created by combining these three uh, genetic templates the elohai elohim feline homonite anuhazi the seraphai seraphim avian homonite series and mantis ethian and the baharama setus in inu and pegasi so these three genetic templates were you know mix and you know combine into one and they created a new race and also they created guardian alliance which means they created a guardian alliance as Uh, to protect the stargates of each stargate they have appointed a council a guardian alliance for that 
so in the next video i'm going to talk and here the fallen angelics okay the they uh, uh, changed their name they adopted their name okay from anu anu and from anu to anu okay so anu elohim fallen angelic legions they created a new race which is the anunnaki races which is the syrian anunnaki okay from cyrus star a in order to destroy the in order to destroy the guardian angelic orpheums and azurite eliani genetic lines and continuing agenda of exploitation and dominion of our time matrix so this was done here and because of this whole scenario we are here we are incarnated on planet tara on planet Ga on planet gaia on planet tara on planet earth to heal okay to heal the dna templates okay so i am going to discuss these thing in the next part sending you lots of love healing and happy energies to all my soul family who are watching my video take care of yourself and see you soon